hills and build them high Makes a long time climbing before I die I want the chance to spit in his eye Oh, well, he gave me balls, but I can see between To a dusty yard and long gone green They call that freedom, if you know what I mean And I drown my sorrows, but the whiskey's gone Hello everyone, welcome to Short Baggers and I. Uh, I'm joined tonight by Brian. <laughs> Brian, how are you doing? <laughs> you well? Calm and composed. <laughs> uh, and Craig as well. Craig, how are you doing? I am so I don't let us know, but I'm alright. So Craig's, uh, where are you at the moment, Craig? Portsmouth or somewhere like that? Aye, close my time. Aye, and there's a, a massive satellite delay, so we apologise in advance for that. Um, <laughs> right, short bangers. Uh, we know the job, 20 minutes on the clock. We'll go through some questions. Uh, we are coming to you from uh, all four corners of the globe. No getting fed to seagulls, though. Um, right, 20 minutes on the clock. We'll go to our first question. Brian, you can take this one first. This is from, that's for Tom Fairney. What is the worst foul you've seen go unpunished? Um, Alfredo Morelos last night. Ah, it was a shocker, eh? A shocker, thank you. Craig? I don't know. So I think if you're thinking or if we're on a delay Pat again. Finland sign. Those signings that Pat Finland made, eh? That was a fuck of that. How how he got away with keeping the job for that long after that was fucking abysmal. What is that going to do with the worst bill you've ever seen go unpunished? Is this one of the questions for last week? <laughs> well, just caught up in it. It was a clear fucking it was a clear foul on the support. It's the least fucking dog shit. shit. <laughs> it's, it's, the way. it's like that game where you play where you have to answer the question that was asked the one before the, the, that one. Oh, Craig's just given up. Uh, do you mind, was it Harold Schumacher? Was that the goalkeeper that wiped the boy out in the World Cup that time? Was it Schumacher that came, I'm sure it was a German keeper that came national out his, his goal and wiped the boy out, and I'm sure it was, was he broke the guy's neck. Battiston? Ah, it was, was that's it. Ah, Battiston, you're right, wasn't it Schumacher? That was the worst one I've seen. Schumacher was the keeper. Aye, Schumacher right, Schumacher's keeper, keeper but it's not as a player. We'll it's get there in the end. Aye. It was, a, it was an absolute shocker. Um, best sporting movie ever? Mighty Ducks. <laughs> There's a... Uh, you ever seen Slapshot? No. So, Slapshot, I think it's maybe for like early 80s, late 70s. Paul Newman. Uh, it's about an ice hockey team, and uh, I'm sure it's meant to be a comedy. It's fucking brilliant as well. There's uh, there's two twins that play for the, the ice hockey team, and they're just fucking psychopaths. So everything's just like a brawl. Um, so is that four of them? What? Oh. <laughs> two twins. <laughs> two twins. <laughs> I think we need to start a game, Brian. <laughs> No, uh, keep going, keep, keep, going, keep going. it going. Hey, what the hell? Um, I slap shot. I'd recommend that if you've not seen it. That's probably the best sports film uh, we've seen. Oh, any, any given Sunday is good. I think based on what I watched yesterday, Milka Halberg could be starring in a remake of Dodgeball. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> From what I've seen, he did not seem keen on getting it. I actually watched him for a a, a, a good wee bit, and it it it, it seemed like. He'd been given instructions to remain 10 yards away for the ball at every opportunity. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've maybe been harsh on him. I'm probably still angry. Like when Next you have question. opposing magnets. <laughs> 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 uh, and the last question for Tom is uh, your best ex footballer actor? There can't be that many ex footballer actors. Vinnie Jones springs to mind, isn't he? If he's he the best the one. one. Yeah, he was the first one I thought of. Vinnie Jones. In fact, it's the only one I've thought of. Vinnie Jones. Um, Vinnie Jones. Aye, we'll go for that just for uh, lack of knowing any other ones. 
Uh, right, uh, the words says, uh, say something nice about Alfredo Morelos and remember to use mouthwash afterwards. I'm struggling. He doesn't play he for look, hearts. He looks like he's on the verge of having a moderately reasonable haircut. Uh, on the verge. Uh, off a big verge. Rather than go for the... Well, it's not even a side score. It's like a quarter score. It looks like he is going for the the side score now. I always think it looks like he was getting his hair cut at the exact moment that the barbers got shut down. Aye. COVID. Just, we, we, need to go. Aye we need to get out of here, pal. But that's uh, probably the only nice thing I could say about him. He is an animal. He belongs in a cage. He is just... Just a very, very angry wee man. And wee prick. Um, Lee says, uh, how long did it take to build Rome? Because we can't have built in a day. It wasn't built in a day, no. Um, I'm led to believe, having seen the sign-off sheets and the building warrants, it was 37 days. <laughs> it's quite impressive, eh? But as the Romans for you. Uh, Leon said, is cereal soup? <laughs> This is the content I'm here for. A cereal soup. No, but I can see where he's going with it. What about hot cereal, like porridge? Nah. I mean, I'm basing it on like a tin of soup. You open a tin, you fire it in and that's it. Porridge, you need to add your milk or your water or sugar. There's, there's a process involved there. Nah. No, we're, not we're not having that. Uh, and do you eat or drink soup? Uh, if it's in a bowl, you're eating it. If it's in a cup, you're drinking it. We'll have that. Uh, right, good times come to those who wait. Says uh, you get one player to add to your squad. Your choices are Ian Black, Alfredo Morelos, Andy Halliday, or Rudy Scatchel. Uh, who are you picking? What's your reasons for or against? And it's, it does say refrain from swearing. Ryan calls you out for it. Black, Maria Lost, Halliday or Skatchel, who are you picking? I'm picking Halliday just for the comedy value because if he plays well, we support him. And if he doesn't, I just want three stands in unison saying that he thought he won the cup, but he fucked it up. Uh, I'll pick black just because uh, there's always wee painting jobs and that needing ruin the ground. So you'll <laughs> come in handy. Uh, Peter Brown says, are there any academics in Hamilton? Um, certainly know that. Remember that wee oddball they had in the in the midfield? Wee guy. Angry. I get a strange shaped head. Tattoos. Darian McKinnon? No, oh, you talking. Thank you, it was McKinnon. I can't just believe you mean, but I can't think of his fucking name. Just a strange wee looking guy. Oddball. Yeah, Ham Hamilton, that's, that's the norm. Aye, there's, aye, you're, you're right there. You're right. It seems to me that's sitting looking like a blue ET. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I think I've I've only beat the Hamilton a few times, and I didn't bump into anybody that I thought or suspected of being academic. I have to say, no, no. offence to, to Hamilton. Uh, Ricky says, "Who's the tidiest girl band of all time to this date?" You'd go for Pussycat Dolls. Nah, I don't like Nicole Scherzinger. She annoys me. Bear in mind. The Spice Girls played a, 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 an integral part of me getting my end away for the first time, so they're a contender. Um, but that said, all saints. They came up in the uh, in the answers that folks submitted. The chords came up as well. But they can if they count. I they... always had a thing for Jim. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say all saints. Aye. Aye, go along with that. Um, Peter Brown, ever forgotten a player's real name? 
he couldn't remember Doig's first name as we'd been calling him Dookie Tripod so much. That's fair enough. I not forgotten the full name, but I've forgotten the way the order of announcing them, and that's thanks to you with, with Jackson Urban. I knew his name, and then because you started getting mixing up, I've started questioning everything. Aye. Happens all the time with me now. I can't help it. I knew it would happen. No. The first time I got it wrong, I was like, nah, I'm fucked by this one forever. Ah, uh, you, you passed it on because I now have to remind <laughs> myself before I see his name. So thanks for that. It's contagious. Um, who else? Kenny, who gets uh, the, the name wrong a lot is uh, Kyle McGuinness because there's a few different McGuinnesses that play football. Josh McGuinness, you're right. Aye. Aye, that caused me a bit. Yep. But, uh, right, Mike says, do you think that scene in Chainspotting 2 in the Rangers club has possibly fueled the backlash uh, towards Irvin Welsh and, and has, in my opinion, hilarious comments last night. Honestly, I'm pissing myself at the rage on Twitter today. So were Rangers fans angry at Irvin Welsh because he portrayed them all as a bunch of sectarian bigots in the film Chainspotting 2? No, I think they generally are offended by everything and embarrassed by nothing. So I don't think train spotting two has has fueled the fire there. They would Alan McGregor basically sums them up as a club, just unhinged and and just upset quite easily. You're uh, you're off Twitter there, Brian, aren't you? Yes. yes. We had a, a list last night of things that get uh, Alan McGregor angry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a there lot, were, I would imagine. Uh, there was there was a lot. There was like weekdays, weekends, um the former Soviet Union. Waking uh, up the direction left. <laughs> Waking up. <laughs> Somebody said women who say no. <laughs> they bracket that with <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> there's reflection. Um, aye, there was loads. We'd love to hear folks' uh, ideas of things that make Alan McGregor angry. There was one point in the game last night where they just ran into the post. That's how angry he was. He just like initially, I think it looked like Doig, uh, sorry, Doig had, had knocked him into it. But when you saw the replay, it, that wasn't what happened. He just went threw himself into the post. Imagine being that annoyed that you just go fuck it, I'm hitting the post. <laughs> it's he it, it is. He is the angriest footballer I've ever seen on a pitch. He's to the point where I would imagine he's got friends. Not many, but he must have friends. And surely one of them, if they are a really good friend of his, would say, stop being a dick. People can see you've been a dick. It's not big. It's not clever. Just stop it right now. Stop it. Behave. I wonder why his teammates didn't have a word for him, eh? Can they look at him and say, he did. Just I, I can't, fear. Why, possibly, but you would just somebody's just got to pull him up and just say, "Fucking stop it!" It's <laughs> embarrassing. You're actually embarrassing yourself. You're you're a grown, a grown man. man. Just a wee wanker. Eh? Can I never got a booking last night as well? Like anybody, anybody else gone that mental? A referee gets a booking. Like Aye. bright red bus screaming in, in his face, and the referee just shat it as well. So if, if you're a manager and you, you you kick a water bottle, you get a red card and sent to the stand. Yeah, he could basically square goal a goalpost and and chase the referee on <laughs> the pitch, and it's fine. We'll just crack on. Uh, Ali B said, if you could murder one person with zero risk of ever being caught, who would it be, and how would you kill them? And you can't have Alfredo Morelos with a machete and sending the body parts to the four corners of the globe to get fed uh, to seagulls. Probably the bus driver last week who saw me and he can't deny that he saw me. <laughs> and he just drove off. <clears throat> How far away were you from the bus stop? Um, in all fairness, probably about 300 yards. So <laughs> you might have just thought I was a guy casually walking somewhere. <laughs> but in my head, he meant it. He, had, he should have had a bit of foresight and thought, there's Big Bri. I'll better wait for him. 
I know where he works. I know where he's going. He never, he just drove off. And I'm one of those guys that will never run for a bus because that's just, you just don't do that. Nah, the reason, because so, as soon as you run, they definitely don't wait for you. Oh, aye, that, that's aye. their That's their cue to get the foot down. Aye, that's where they just go, um, oh, Mr. Clancy. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I, I never seen it, basically. He's a tank of legs. Aye, I thought you were on a skateboard. I never realised you were walking a bus. <laughs> Rick. So him, I'm choosing him. And I obviously didn't advocate violence or anything like that, but Jacob Rees-Mogg would be my pick for it. And I find the worst possible way to do it. A very sadistic way, I think. I, it was, to be fair, it was one of those lockdown moments where I ended up YouTubing. There's a, a, a basically a clip of his best moments. And I found them quite amusing. Just because he is, it's like he's just been flown in from Dickensian times. <laughs> uh, what? I quite like that about him. The way I'd kill him is I would let him, I would say, you can't eat anything, no food or water, until you find a suit that fits you. Well, no, there is that. Yeah, he's, 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 uh, he's not got a tailor, has he? <laughs> no. Okay, the mad thing is, he probably does, eh? Probably a very expensive one. He's just shit, and he's because he's got no taste, because a fucking prick, he just goes along with it. Or maybe, he's, maybe his tailor's a good cunt. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe his tailor's like, I'll take his money and I'm going to make him look even made a prick than he actually is. Possibly so. Aye. One is Taylor. Uh, Jamie Montgomery, I'm not sure if we can answer this one. He says, does anyone know of any reputable breeders of Cavapoos? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, although, curiously, Kunster uh, replied and said, Kunster's Doug's a Cavapoo. Uh, they think they're DMing each other now, so not Kunster's Doug. I think he can work uh, Twitter. But good stuff. Thank you no. for touch one. Uh, John I mean, McEwen says, uh, if you were PM and could completely ignore travel restrictions for an essential working visit to anywhere in the UK, where would you go? Ox gangs. <laughs> I'll go Easter Road. I have to, I have to say it. That would be my, my, my first, uh, first protocol to get to Easter Road for a game on match day. Um, Bring a pitchfork and a watering can for that aye, pitch. And, and a packet of grass seed. Aye. Uh, Jack Callard so. said, what's the most imaginative insult you can come up with? Uh, stick of using the classics to define Hibs games. Imaginative insult? Uh, I referred to somebody today as a fucking trumpet. <laughs> Did you hear about the man really that buried his trumpet? Hold on, hold on, the man that buried his trumpet. You had to root it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. I did not know that. One of the favourite ones I had was, uh, for, for insults, was uh, somebody got, got told they were as uh, useful as Christy Brown in a left foot arse kicking contest. So Christy Brown was in the film My Left Foot. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's you know, in a wheelchair, so uh, it's, a, it's a good film. Yeah. Aye. Um. Some will get that reference, and they'll go. Can I remember that? Anyway. Oh. Uh, H1A AMT said, "Your life depends on it. You have to either support Heart Septic or the Huns. Who do you choose? Preference to choosing death isn't an option." So Rangers, Celtic or Hearts, who are you picking? <laughs> That's not an easy one, is it? No, because I actually despise them all. Um... Totally stumped. Go pack one, no. No, can't answer it. Just no answer. Them. I'd probably go with Celtic because they're the least like Hearts. And even then, it'd be reluctant, Lodo. Uh, Baz says, any more incoming signings? Uh, centre half or a centre forward? Any idea? Brian, anybody else coming in? 
I'd like another centre half in there. Um, I liked the look here yesterday with a three at the back, I must admit. How good was Big McGregor, eh? He was brilliant. He was very, very good. Um, I was surprised. Not surprised that Hanlon was dropped. I was surprised that Jack Ross dropped him. Um, I didn't expect him to do that. And to be honest, it, that, that could have been him or Porteous that, 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 that got dropped. Yeah. So I'd, another centre-back would be nice. I'd like another centre-back. And uh, there's stories tonight that, that Birmingham have bid two million for this bit and Millwall a million for Porteous. Would you sell any of the, either of them for that money? No, no, not that money. No, nah. no Same chance. Here. Mere value in keeping them, I think. Yep. Uh, Kunster said, has the Globe really got four corners? Uh, no. No, even if you're a flat earther. Uh, Paul Mackay says, can you actually say anything about the Rangers that they won't get upset about? Not really, no. I think it's virtually impossible. I, I think yeah. if, you, if you're talking about a population that call each other bears, you, you're on a hiding to nothing no matter what you say to them. Aye, I think even if you had said something nice, they would complain that it wasn't nice enough. Aye. And then right to Ofcom about it. Which brings us on to our next question. Andrew McBee says, can Ofcom uphold complaints about Hibs TV? Um, nope. No, no. 14 complaints they got for Rangers fans about Hibs TV. Which is like writing to your MP about the quality of fucking postal service. Aye. Just, Nonsense. It, it, uh, it beggars belief. Beggars belief. Nicely done. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and Ian N has the last question of the evening. Where do you think Jackson Irvin will ultimately rank in the pantheon of mustachioed Hibs players? I got a glimpse of him yesterday and he is like a throwback, isn't he? There's there's going to be a game shortly where the camera's going to pant him probably in the centre circle and he's just there with an acoustic guitar. <laughs> or a parrot on his shoulder <laughs> just strumming away he's um, wow oh to be fair um, there was a guy that came into my, my branch today um, picking up an order and I'd actually said to the girls when I walked back in the office he it was the closest hair I'd seen to sort of mid 90s Michael Bolton just an outrageously beautiful uh, lustrous hair that he had. I mean, we we past the the shoulders in a ponytail, and it's just wow. You don't really see that with books. Not at that length of hair, and he no. he maintained that. That's that's. Uh, he spends a fair bit of time per day on that hair. Beautiful. I'm what sure a sight! Be asked for that, as folks will be able to tell. But uh... I know. Well, I've got a bit. Aye. The hood on because my band is just outrageous. I thought of putting a hat on, but I didn't. I didn't shoot a baseball cap. Do you know what? If I didn't shoot any hats, you know, some folk have a head that they could put a hat on and look great. I look ridiculous. Well, it doesn't matter what type of hat I put on, I look fucking ridiculous. When I when I did what everybody else does, did during lockdown and started buying uh, running gear, etc. Um, and because when I when I'm into my running, I'll, I'll go for a run at half four or five in the morning. I thought I'll just buy a baseball cap. So I bought one, whatever site it was, Under Armour baseball cap, one size, perfect, can't go wrong. And it turns out apparently you can go wrong because I can <laughs> really get it past my temple. I've I have got a head the size of a Ford Mondale. And even a even a one size baseball cap is too small for me. I don't know what to do. I don't care what you can do that either. I gave up on hat wear now. I wear a woolly hat for going outside the now. A, because it's cold, but also because it hides my hair. But uh, you can't, can't get away with wearing that indoors. And I can't no. wear a baseball cap because I just I look like a tit. So, hi. I, I wish I could have one last goal of just wearing a baseball cap back to front and then sitting on a chair, mm. but turning that round the other way as well. <laughs> but the moment has gone. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, on that note, Brian, we're done. All the questions are used up for the evening.
Okay, no. Thanks very much for your time, uh, no guys. Problem. Thanks for for listening. We'll be back on. I think actually the Dundee United game for a quick bang. If you're interested in uh, participating, drop us a line on Twitter and we'll, we'll get you on the show. Uh, and after that, we're back on Monday with Longbangers. So uh, have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you then. When the trail me down when I broke free, I drank all the whiskey in Tennessee. I don't drink water, no.